Hi, Melody Moore here, CEO of Business Tech Ninjas, your membership site specialist. Today, we're going to talk about Go High Level and why you might want to use the internal Go High Level membership tool or why you might want to use a WordPress system. I'm going to talk about two different examples. One of a client I advised, yeah, you should probably build this out on Go High Level. And another one where I was like, no, you should probably stick to WordPress for two very different reasons. Because when you're thinking about technology and the decisions that you're going to make around which tools that you want to use, it's not a one size fits all. It depends on where you're at within your business. It depends on what your current tech capabilities are, what your current tech stack is, it depends on what you want to do with the business down the road. So there's no clear cut answer for anyone of what technology to use. And spoiler alert, if there's anyone that tells you that there is, they probably don't know what they're talking about. So let's talk about Go High Level, which I'm mildly in love with right now. I am just coming out of the honeymoon phase at this point in time and seeing some of its limitations, but still a very, very robust tool. My general overview on Go High Level at this point in time is it's a great tool for around that $500,000 or less mark. Once you start getting above 500K and then definitely around the 1 million mark or seven figures, then it starts to lose some of its grandeur, shall we say. And when I say that of there's just things that are harder to integrate. It doesn't have as many of the more advanced capabilities that we might see in tools like Keep or HubSpot potentially. And I've found that working with our seven figure businesses that it just doesn't, it, it lacks some of that complexity. Now, it's still early. This is what, you know, 2024, we're January, we're March right now. They are developing at a very, very high pace. So that could change fairly rapidly. But at this particular juncture, that is my professional opinion. Now, let's go into the capabilities of membership sites specifically. I'm going to take you into a site that is currently actually hosted on WordPress, and they're thinking about moving over to go high level. And so it's a really good comparison of, like, okay, this is what this looks like on go high level, and this is what we can do on a WordPress-based system. So I'm going to take you into the go high level version first. Um, so let me share my screen. So we have... So this is what a course looks like in Go High Level. Now, keep in mind, this has not been heavily customized with like a designer going in here. Like there's probably some more we could do with like just even the coloring here, I would suspect, to make this look a little bit better than really what it is at this point in time. So it's it's a very common user experience of what we would see in most platform-based solutions like Thinkific or Kajabi or, or the like. You've got lesson content over here, and then you have maybe a little bit of description. I can't seem to find a way to add more items over here. It'd be great to be able to add downloads or something. I imagine there's probably a way. We just haven't gotten that in depth with it at this point in time. So, and then if you, if you go into the actual course content itself, so let's click on this. So you can see it's kind of your standard, what you would expect in a course. So it's about this lesson. Okay. I've got the audio and the video, and then I can't mark it for com as complete for whatever reason. So I'm going to go to this one. Um, I think it's because I'm an admin. It doesn't let me do that, but they, people would be able to go through all the video content and they can see all of the lessons over here. It looks like this one, such a little bit strange that I can't see more of it because I could before, but maybe I have somehow locked myself out. Let's see if we can go into this one. So it's like a little bit of a weird, it's a little bit of a weird integration on this of I have to click into each one of these individually. I actually thought that I could just go through them all, but I think that might be a settings functionality. Let's look at another one here. Um, so we've got these ones, which is like recordings from a challenge. So you can go in here and again, you've got all the different, now this is all in one section, which is I think why you can click through it all, all at once. Um, and then this one is a version of this course, which has the original course, as well as some downloads and contracts that you can see not on this page. I think it's actually in the other one. Let's go back to this one. So this is on the full one Like you scroll down here and then like they have all the contracts and everything. So you'd have to go into a separate module and you can see all of the contracts here and you can download them or whatever else. It's it, the content is there. People can access it. Is it the best user experience? I would say not. Um, I think you can customize this to your heart's content, but there's just going to be a glass ceiling to it. And 
I was speaking with somebody today who is on Go High Level right now, and they're like, hey, I really want to use a WordPress tool or solution. I was like, you probably shouldn't. I would say, you know, they haven't built out their courses. They haven't built out their programs yet. I was like, do a good version one with the tool that you have, the tool that is easy, and then make it more complex because you actually know things that it's not doing that you'd really like it to do. This does two really important things. One, it focuses you on selling your thing versus figuring out the technology. Use the simple thing, get it started, see the limitations of it, and then move to the more complex item afterwards. Now, some people might say, well, Melody, I don't want to re-platform. Yeah, me neither. However, you will learn more and you will make a better quality thing if you spend the time of just doing it quick and easy for the time being and then moving to a more complex solution later down the road, potentially. Um, it's like, what what is the easiest path to, to success at this point in time? Now, on the other side of that, I do sometimes advise people who are like, no, you just need to set this up right, right from the beginning. And the reason why I wouldn't have advised this person on that is because they're on Go High Level and there aren't really any great integration tools between Go High Level and WordPress at this point in time. The best one out there, I believe, is, is WP Fusion, which is good. It does a good enough job. It's very much an on and off type system as opposed to a more robust integration like what we can do with Membarium and Keep potentially. So I, I advise this person, I was like, okay, hey, just do it and go high level. And then if you do want to bring us in later to help you build out like a really, really amazing WordPress site, I like working with a little bit more clay already where I can go in and I can go in to see what your user experience is already like. And then I can be like, oh, this is how we can make this better. This is all the cool things that we can do. Whereas we're just kind of guessing when they're still at that early stage of doing the first version of something. So this is basically what go high level essentially looks like. Uh, let's see if I can get back to the main interface here, just to show you a little bit of the back end of what um, of what this looks like. So you do get like this member type page um, where you can have your profile, I assume. I, it's a little bit different because I'm logged as an admin at this point in time. Um, you can join groups. They do have a group functionality, which I think is really cool. I love that they have affiliate functionalities in here. They have a take course. And I believe that they their course functionality might actually be conditional too, where you can see like all of the things that are your courses or all of the courses potentially here. I still find it to be fairly limited in that like I can't customize it in the same way I can with a, a WordPress site. Now, uh, I was going to show you the back end, but I seem to have lost my page for that. Let's go into the WordPress version. So the WordPress version of this, of uh, the same kind of idea, well, similar kind of idea. Um, it has one customization as far as like welcome and then their first name. We can update this image here to whatever we want it to be. Um, and you can see here that we have two different levels of, of membership, quote unquote. And for this particular client, they have like a, a 1999 uh, monthly and they have an additional like lifetime option that people buy for $169 that can be purchased at any given time. They get lifetime access to everything. Um, and then they get all the contracts and the downloads. And you can see this particular person that I'm logged in as only has access to this and doesn't have access to this. So if they click on this, then they're they're given this like order form where they can go ahead and buy it. And it really like gives that underlying, like here's all the cool stuff in this. And if we compare that out to like this, like it it functions similarly. However, like the user experience of it, or like how you actually look at it to me is it's pretty night and day different. Um, and then you go down here and then we've got like additional courses. So this is this is included here. And we have like a little lock button on this other one. We've got some marketing materials here like, hey, if you really follow through on this, you too can be in the Hall of Fame. Um, and then additionally, like up here, we've got like their live call recordings. So you can do a lot more with organizing the live calls than you can on any platform solution, not just necessarily uh, go high level, but any of them to go back through and be able to organize them in a much more robust and user friendly way. Um, so this is another one here that I'll show that has access just to this and doesn't have access to this. And like part of like my qualm with this is, and this is something I've made videos about too, of people 
tend to just kind of throw courses at everything of like when they're thinking about delivering content on a website or delivering content to to members it's like well everything needs to go in my courses because you've got these tools like Thinkific and Kajabi where there's not really much more flexibility other than creating courses and giving people access to courses they don't have that same ability like we do in WordPress to give access to a page I imagine that they'll probably catch on at some point in time and then they'll start doing that but again, as of March 2024, that is not the case. Uh, so like, let's go back to the main, one of the main courses here. Uh, maybe I can go here. So I want the full one. So like on this, this is like, I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and define the, the contracts and the, and, the, and the bonuses. And even when we do really good user experience, we still get a number of customer service questions of people asking like, where is this and where is that? And what I found is that on the, on the lower end scale, like when you are below 500K, you're still dealing with a number of people that that customer service cost is pretty manageable. But once you start scaling up beyond that and then getting into that seven figure mark, the customer service cost and then the annoyance of your people having not being able to find what they want starts overtaking some of the more simplistic systems that you could use where it's like you really do want to be able to create something that really suits your people and gives them what they need when they need it on your on your site. And not just with Go High Level, but with any platform solution, what we find is you're just limited. Like I can install any sort of plugin. I can custom code something on WordPress to make something work. And if I want that in either Go High Level or Thinkific or Kajabi or any of these platform-based tools, it's like, great, we'll put that in the development backlog and eventually maybe we'll look at it. And I think there's a little bit, for me, a little bit of frustration there because it's like, I really like to solve problems. And it's like, I really want to make this better, like help me make this better. And then they're like, oh, it'll go in the development backlog, which is essentially a way of, I'd like to close the support ticket <laughs> and no longer want to be on the support ticket with you. Um, so like with what we have here, we have all of the gold downloads in drop downs because they're all related to different lessons too. And it's hard to tell that and it's hard to really show that on here. So it's like contract five and drawing and like we could name these a little bit different. Like there is there is caveats to this. This could be just named differently and you could organize a little bit better to make it a better user experience. I still think that you're going to be able to do more on a WordPress based solution than you will on that. So for instance, like I can do quick links to like the contracts and the bonuses. It shows what's what bonuses or what things are related to each one of the different lessons too. So there's just like that little bit of, of gray area there of like what, what you can do. So it, if I were to think of like a clear cut rule, it's like, when your customer service complaints and the amount that you're just trying to like bend the platform to your will and it's not really doing it and maybe it's breaking, then you probably would want to look at a WordPress based solution. If you're just starting out, like we do, we do base level builds for WordPress solutions that are, you know, just plug and play that you can dig right into. The caveat to that is that like it needs to work with keep or active campaign. So if you're not on either one of those tools, I'd say like just go. There's so many great, there are a lot of really great platform-based membership tools. Like start there, work your magic, get your sales up, get people liking what you're doing, and then start dreaming a little bit. Like, how great can the user experience be of this? Because there's two really good factors about using a WordPress-based solution. One of them is it becomes your your own sales machine in some ways. Because of the deep integration that we can do with tools like Keep and Active Campaign, it's like you know where they are, you know what they've done, and you can give them a conditional experience. Like you could give them a conditional like 48 hour, 48 hour offer right on your site. You can have your store on your site and only show certain products depending on what they've bought in the past. And that's really difficult to do on any of these platform-based solutions. And Imagine over time they'll they'll catch up, but there's still that element of there's always that once you get to that seven figure mark, there's always that really cool thing that you want to be able to do, and they you get the the age old we'll put that on our development backlog at some point in time type idea. So it 
again, there, there isn't a one size fits all. And I know everybody wants, everybody wants me to tell them that like, you know, you, it's perfect for you. It's, it's trade-offs. Technology is about trade-offs. It's about trade-offs and knowing the relationship that you're getting into. So when you're choosing a tool, like what type of support do they offer? How buggy is their stuff? And like knowing the nuances of it before you get into it are part of the reason why you probably want to work with somebody that has already used it in the past. Because any person or developer who says, use this tool, it's amazing. Well, what doesn't it do? No, 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 no. It does everything. I'm like, yeah, you just don't know it very well. <laughs> because every tool, every technology has has its things. And I always know that I'm in that honeymoon phase with a tool when I don't know those things. And we like to be upfront with our customers and say, hey, we're going to learn this along with you, along this path. We don't know what we don't know about it. Here's what I do like about it. Here's what I do know about it. But we're going down this unknown path together. Are you game? <laughs> and most of the time they do. Sometimes sometimes they're like, I want tried and true. Anyways, thank you for sticking with me. I know this is a very long video. Hopefully it's been really helpful. If you have any questions about what tool or tech to use for you and figuring out your own trade-offs, you can contact us at businesstechninjas.com as well as any comments or things or questions about this, please comment below. Uh, I am a big believer in collaboration it makes us all stronger and smarter. Till next time, have a wonderful day.